Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, and welcome back to another video for No Man's Sky. And in this video, it's just going to be another quick one. I wanted to put together a guide on how to quickly and easily make a lot of money in this game, or units as they refer to, that is the currency. Now, of course there are a load of ways you can make money, you know, you can trade, there are loads and loads of people you can trade with, you can trade at the space stations, you can trade with different life forms that you find, and you can sell things from like the basic materials that you farm, all the way up to things like trade commodities, like the Gek Charms or the Gek Nip, or any of those green items you find, they are typically sold for anywhere from about 10 up to say 20k, which is pretty good money. However, most of those green items come from chests, which aren't exactly rare, but they're also not things that you'll find in huge quantities. However, there are some trade commodities that you can find in very large quantities, and when you do find these, these are the best things to farm. Now, yes, caveat, of course, being that in No Man's Sky, it's a little bit difficult to try and create a tutorial that everyone can follow because everybody has a different experience. You know, again, as mentioned, I can't say go to this planet because you might never find that planet. However, what I can do is tell you what to look out for. And if you do find these things and they're not exactly the rarest of items, then at least if you do find them, you can latch onto them, focus on that and basically farm them for all the money you can possibly get. So with that being said, if you do find this useful, like we super appreciated, comment down below and let me know if you found anything like this as well. But quite simply, located around certain planets, typically more on planets that have high or aggressive kind of sentinel populations, because more often than not, if there are more aggressive sentinels, it's often because they're protecting some sort of rare material. Now on these kind of planets, sometimes you can find vegetation or plants that effectively, when you interact with them, they yield these trade commodities. An example of that would be this plant you see in front of you. Instead of mining it, you go up and you interact with it. It opens its leaves and it reveals an albumen pearl. Now this pearl here sells for 27,000 units. Actually 27,500, but for argument's sake, 27,000 units. Now that is a lot considering it's just a plant that you pulled at the ground. Now you'll know you're in the right place because if you do that, the second you pick up this item, it will spawn some sentinels, typically two drones and the dog, but Either way, if you pick it up, then these will come in. So you can do one of two things. You can either fight them or you can run away and break line of sight and then you can hide and they will then go away. But that is your indication that you're in the right place because they're effectively not happy that you're stealing their rare materials. Now, the cool thing about these is because they are effectively vegetation, you will often find them in quite high groupings. So in this situation, I was actually in an area where there were tons of these plants. And in fact, there were too many that I just couldn't carry all of it because my inventory was so full. So what you then do in an ideal situation, if you're lucky enough to find some of these near say a manufacturing plant or somewhere that has a life form that you can trade with or at least a trade station, then you can of course go and grab as many as you can, run to the station, trade them in, sell them, go back out. And of course that way you can keep emptying your inventory. If of course that's not an option, then you can gather as many as you can, jump in your ship, fly to the nearest space station, do your trades and come back. Either way, with each of them selling for around 27K, then even simply just by gathering four, then that's a really easy 100K. So when you consider that, say, some of the best ships in the game are anywhere from 800K upwards. I mean, you know, some of the big ones with like 25 slots are anywhere from say 1.5 to 2 million credits. But if you're able to gather from a lot of these plants, then it's actually not very hard to make, you know, 500K in a very short space of time. In fact, I actually made that this evening in probably about four or five runs because I was actually in a place that was near a trade station and I was able to handle a lot of things and get some more money. Now, it's also worth mentioning that these trade commodities won't always look the same. So for example, on this planet that I'm on, which by the way, thanks to 269 in my Twitch chat today, is now named Cash Money Young Money. So if you ever see that in the Mole Money system, then definitely land there because it is full of these plants and full of money. However, on a different planet in a different system, the alternative one were these Gravitino balls. Now these ones, you don't actually go up and interact with the plant. You simply walk up and they start glowing. But the same thing happens. You pick up the ball and then the Sentinels come in. They're not too happy. You run away from them. You clear them out and they again sell for around 27k. So it's probably fair to say that in some other galaxies, in some other systems, some other planets, then these items will likely take other forms. So the main thing you want to look out for is you want to look out for plants or vegetation that when gathered yield trade commodities. And typically when you gather those commodities, you then get rushed by Sentinels. If you do that, then you're in the right place. And if you are in the right place, then you want to farm it for as much as you can. Farm it, sell it, and you'll be rich in no time. And it's really that simple. Of course, you know, outside of that, when you can't find it, do keep your eyes peeled for chests because anytime you can get any of those things, you know, the cheap commodities, they are still easy money. But if you can find anything like this, then you are in a very good position. 
And that's pretty much it. That is my tip on how to easily farm lots of money in a very short space of time. I used that tip today to actually buy myself a new ship, so I'm now flying around in what I call the Grasshopper. So hopefully this benefits you guys. Of course, as I say, I know you're in different planets, but hopefully you at least know what to look out for. If any of you guys have seen anything like this, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. But good luck hunting. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.